Hi learners! Welcome back to the Ed Ninjas IGCSE Economics course. In this lesson, we'll be exploring the concept of opportunity cost. So, what is opportunity cost? It is essentially the basis for all of the choices that we make. We know, by virtue of the basic economic problem, that resources are scarce or limited in supply, and our wants are unlimited. This means that we must make choices. And when we make these choices, we are also consciously forced to make a sacrifice. This sacrifice, or rather its value, is known as the opportunity cost. Say for example you receive $50 as a birthday gift. You decide to buy a new pair of shoes with the money. The opportunity cost in this scenario is the ability to buy something else with the money. Since you decided to buy the pair of shoes, you lose out on the ability to buy something else with the money. The opportunity cost of a decision is the value of what you will lose or miss out on when choosing one possibility over another. It is the value of the next best alternative foregone. Now that we have an understanding of what opportunity cost is, let's consider the importance of understanding this concept and how it takes shape in real life. For one, it's a major economic concept that bears significance over the entire economy. Opportunity cost is something that all economic agents, so firms, individuals, and governments, have to incur because we all make choices. For a consumer, the opportunity cost is the next item on his or her scale of preference. As a consumer, I might prefer a certain brand of cereal over oats. For a rational producer, the opportunity cost of producing a product is the next most profitable product that could have been produced with the resources used. As a manufacturer, I might find that producing tables is more profitable than producing chairs, and therefore make the choice to produce more tables. For a government, the opportunity cost of providing a service is the next best service it could have provided. So an example of this would be providing free healthcare instead of public education. Let's investigate this further by considering opportunity cost in the context of resource allocation or decision making in an economy. We usually see opportunity cost mapped out in the form of a PPC or a production possibilities curve that really represents how much a country is able to produce. So let's take an example here of a country that's producing just two goods, clothing and furniture. And this is a great way to visualize opportunity cost. As you can see towards the bottom right of your screen, we have these scenarios ranging from A to F in which the quantity of both clothing and furniture being produced fluctuate. Let's focus first on scenario B which states that at this point, our economy is producing 40 units of furniture and 100 units of clothing. Now, if clothing becomes more profitable, for example, we might decide to increase the amount of clothing we're producing from 100 units to 180 units. When we make this change, we can observe a decrease in the amount of furniture our country is capable of producing, remembering that any point outside of this curve this frontier is unattainable with our current resources. So, producing the same amount of furniture becomes impossible if we are to make this change. So in the case that we do decide to increase our output of clothing, we must make a trade-off, moving from 40 to 30 units of furniture, or sacrificing 10 units of furniture. So your opportunity cost, in this case, the cost of increasing your output of clothing by 80 units, is 10 units of furniture, or the quantity we are sacrificing. Before we conclude, try your hand at this exam style question, a multiple choice, to test your understanding of the concept so far. Feel free to pause as you figure it out. So the first thing we can observe is this table, which depicts Sam's scale of preference, which we had addressed earlier in the lesson, concerning how individuals interact with opportunity cost. The question itself gives us a clue as to which option might be the answer, as it completely rules out option A and B. 
as they can no longer take place. They are now unattainable. Sam instead picked the next best alternative according to his scale of preference, leading to him choosing to go to the cinema instead of visiting his relatives. The key word in that statement being instead, indicating that he made a sacrifice. Additionally, option D is not directly on a scale of preference. And so, the answer, the opportunity cost of Sam's decision, is option C, visiting his relatives. I hope this video has been helpful and that you now have a more concrete understanding of opportunity cost. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.